Derek Jackson. Apparently, the relationship guru has explained some things. It's all over the internet. So J-Rock decided he would give his electrifying opinion. So come on back and let's have a little talk. Hi, J-Rock has come back. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world? J-Rock is here uh, because apparently the relationship advice giver, the relationship guru, the relationship expert, if you will, Derek Jackson, uh came clean about some cheating that occurred in his relationship, in his marriage with his wife, uh, maybe a year or so ago, what have you. And folks have been chiming in, giving their five cents, two cents, 10 cents. Well, Jay Rock is gonna give you the $100 bill on the real deal. No rhyme intended on that line. Now, uh, Jay Rock heard the, the video, the seven minute long video that he put out me and his wife uh, discussing what happened. Now let J Rock say this. Uh, I hope and pray that the relationship can mend. The relationship can once again be whole. We know with God all things are possible. Um, and I'm hope that what occurred um, makes them stronger, if you will. Um, makes the relationship stronger between those two. Um, knowing how she feels or felt in that particular uh, incident, rather, J-Rock understands how that feels. Uh, J-Rock has been on that side of the cheating before. And J-Rock says this. No, no, don't get it twisted. Even though they cheated on the great one, all of their candy asses came back trying to get J-Rock and wanting J-Rock to... And J-Rock said, no, 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 no. That ain't happening. Not here. Not now. Not ever. You can take your candy asses back where you came from because you've already messed up. Now look here, all right? Ain't really none of our business what happened between them, all right? They're married, that's their business. Whatever happened between them, they work it out, they get it straight, okay? All right? However, seeing that he is somewhat of a public figure, he puts this opinion out there, and he himself said that it's kind of challenging to build a brand, preaching one thing, but then doing something else behind the scenes. Well, J-Rock says this. Uh, not everybody follows their own advice, brother. Okay? All right? There are some things that J-Rock has said that J-Rock just didn't do. Okay? But be that as it may, uh, you learn from your mistakes. All right? Or in this case, you learn from your bad choices. Because um, I want to be crystal clear. Cheating is not a mistake. All right, a mistake is when you're you did something you weren't trying to do. Like if you had a cup of hot coffee and you tripped and fell and spilt it on someone, that's a mistake. You weren't trying to do that. Uh, if you cheated, yeah, that's not a mistake. That's a choice. You chose to do that. Okay. All right. And so I appreciate him stepping up, taking responsibility for it. Um, which, in J Rock's opinion, that's kind of like. A uh, duh, like, I mean, come on, bro, you you did it. What else you gonna do? All right, especially if you're trying to restore what was broken. Let me tell you something about trust. Trust is hard to earn, but easy to lose. All right, so I just I hope and pray that their trust can become mended. Now, in the video, he talked about how, um, you know, he had a change of mindset. It's and, that, and that's good, and that's good. I'm glad he got a change of mindset. Um, and look, 
J-Rock says this. You can learn anything from anybody. All right? Now, people always bash Steve Harvey for giving his relationship tips. But they'll bring up the fact Steve Harvey's on his, what, third or fourth marriage. Well, J-Rock says this. You can learn anything from anybody, even Steve Harvey. Because see, you can learn either what to do or you can learn what not to do. And when Steve is talking, a lot of his talking <coughs> is coming from experience. And so not only is he telling you what works, at least what works for him, but he's telling you what didn't work, okay? Now, it's your job to figure out what works for you. All right, just because it works for Steve don't mean it's gonna work for you and vice versa, all right? But the point I'm trying to make is that you can learn anything from anybody. And so this brother Derek, all right? And look, don't jump down on this dude, okay? All right, let's not get on our high horse and look that, oh my God, you cheated? Oh my God, I, I would never do such a thing. Let J-Rock says this, I'm very leery of people who say what they would not or wouldn't do, okay? I'm very leery of those people, all right? Because you don't know what you'll do. In a certain situation, in a certain frame of mind, under the right amount of pressure, you're liable to do anything, all right? Peter swore up and down. Oh, Jesus, I'll never deny you. I'll never deny you. These, 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 these other jabronis, oh, yeah, they talking that talk, but they ain't with it. They ain't going to walk to walk. Jesus, I'm with you. I'm your boy. I got your back. If I got to go to Jeff, I got to die. I'm going to follow you wherever you go. Man, it wasn't even a day went by before Jesus, uh, before Peter denied he even knew Jesus. Cussing folks out, denying that he knew Jesus. All right? So, yeah, be leery of people, at least I am, of folks who claim they know what they wouldn't do because you just don't know. Right? But the fact of the matter is, is that this brother and this young lady trying to work things out, trying to reconcile. Look, and I... And I Depending on how um, engaged they are with social media, which I don't doubt they are, but depending on how engaged they are with social media, you're going to hear a lot of people with a lot of different opinions, okay? A lot of people are going to say, oh, you stupid for staying, you crazy girl, he's just going to do it again. And to be perfectly honest, I can honestly say I think the likelihood of that happening is very, very low. And the reason I say that is because his apology he actually took ownership of the choice he made. When he said, nobody made me do it, I did it, I chose to do it. That right there is ownership, all right? A lot of times you'll get folks when they cheat and get caught cheating, their explanation is centered something around, well, I wasn't happy or you weren't there, you weren't there for me, um, I wasn't happy in the relationship, you didn't listen to me, I tried to say, it's always sitting around something else. Or they'll say, you know, I was drunk. My emotions got the best of me. Um, uh, she kept coming on to me. He kept doing this and that. Those people are more likely to cheat again. Because basically they're passing the buck on to somebody else. Right? Whenever you're saying somebody else or something else is responsible for the decision you made, then who's to say that that's something or someone else won't choose to put you in that position again? Won't make that choice for you? All right, who's to say your emotions won't get the best of you again? Who's to say that they won't be putting the moves on you again? Who's to say that uh, the person you're with won't be there for you again or you feel lonely again? Whenever you hear somebody who's talking like that, trying to, you know, rekindle the relationship, run. Run, run run because they are basically saying without saying oh i'm gonna do it again oh yeah yeah because this one mother i mean it wasn't my fault it's somebody else's fault i cheated so it's only a matter of time before the next time i do it it's gonna be somebody else's fault i'm not responsible for my actions that's basically what they're saying they're not responsible for their actions somebody else is so be leery of those people all right and if you are one of those people Trust me when I tell you, most likely you're probably going to do it again, okay? Probably already thought about it, probably already did it, all right? Until you look in the mirror, stop blaming everybody around you, and say, I did it because I wanted to. 
I thought it would get me what I wanted, but instead, it got me what I didn't want. So, with that being said, um, prayers up for you two. Hope everything works out. Um, I'm praying that you guys can get back to where you were. Um, and Brother Derek, you're going to have to eat some humble pie for a while now. You're going to have to eat some humble pie, right? You're going to get to where you been, or who you talk to, or what does she say. You're going to get a lot of that now, Doc. All right? You can put her in that position. And you're going to have to work double hard now to get the trust back. I'm not saying it's impossible. But, brother, you, you're you going to have to eat some humble pie for a while. Okay? All right? If she asks you, I need to see your draws, you don't say a word. Just take them off. Just give them to her. All right? She needs to see your phone. Don't don't you have no password on there. And if you do, she better know what it is. You better let her pick it. And you better not change it. Don't be doing suspicious things like hanging up the phone when she walk in the room. Uh, or, you know, changing the computer screen when she walk in. Don't be doing that, bro. Because that looks suspicious. All right? Let her see what you're watching. Let her see who on us and on your phone. After a while, once you reestablish that routine, okay, everything should be fine, all right? Give it time. You want to eat some humble pie for a while. That goes for any of you candy asses out there who decided to make that decision and the person you cheated on decided that they're going to give you another chance. You have to eat some humble pie for a while, all right? So you have to get outside of your comfort zone, right? You're going to have to be doubly accountable now. Right? And I like what he said. It's like, you know, I got to get stuff right with the Lord. Uh, because that's where the restoration becomes. Right? But at the same time, you got to understand, God is forgiving. People aren't. And so if someone chooses not to give you a second chance, you can't be throwing God in their face. Well, the Bible says you're supposed to be. Well, yeah, it does. But uh, maybe they will, just not today. Okay? All right? So you got to be careful about throwing that in, in, in people's face, right? God Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Okay. So, prayers up for you too. Hope everything is going to work out. Don't worry about the rock says. The rock says. The rock says. All right. They're going to be good. You are good. You're going to have some folks who are selfish. You're going to have some folks who are friends. Okay. The rock says. Take a stroll down Know Your Road Boulevard, hang that right on Jabroni Drive, and go up to the owner's suite and check yourself directly into the Smackdown Hotel. All right? And be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining us, Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. You just smell J-Rock is cooking.